Talk of Washington, we've been uh, telling you about the impeachment inquiry into President Biden moving forward. Democrats continuing to dismiss the investigation into corruption by the Biden family or the allegations of corruption. Uh, Republicans defending Wednesday's vote. That decision split along party lines, giving the House Oversight, Judiciary and Ways and Means Committee the chance to weigh the case and gather more evidence. News Nation political contributor Sean Spicer is joining us now. He served as White House press secretary for President Trump. Sean, we've talked about a lot of things. Uh, and in, in terms of the American people understanding exactly what this means, can you just break down what these three GOP-led committees will be doing next? Yeah, it's a great question, Adrian, because at the at the end of the day, what this really is, is the beginning of an inquiry. It formalizes the process. It gives power to the House of Representatives for calling thing, for enforcing things like subpoenas. So you've got these three committees, the House Oversight Committee, the House Ways and Means Committee, and then the House Judiciary Committee. Each of them is dealing with one aspect of things that they're looking into. For example, the Ways and Means Committee is looking into specific financial and tax records. That's a way in which they can go out, require banks and witnesses to respond to them, to potentially connect the dots. We all know that Hunter Biden took in a ton of money. There's no question about that. I don't even think the, the biggest Biden supporter would disagree with some of the nefarious nature of Hunter Biden's activities. The question that the House is looking into is, did Joe Biden personally benefit from them in any such, in any way? There's a lot of smoking guns, if you will. I think right now, what this formal inquiry does is it gives them a greater degree of enforcement when it comes to their depositions. For example, you saw Hunter Biden yesterday defy the subpoena that the House issued to him. They've had several members of the Department of Justice that have said that we're not going to make them available to you. Having this formal vote in the House of Representatives gives them a much greater degree of enforcement when it comes to those subpoenas, at least historically. So that's what they're looking for right now, is to be able to go in through those three committees and, and require certain witnesses to come forward and actually answer Congress's questions when it comes to concerns they have about President Biden. But, but the bottom line, can you just bottom line it? Because you said there's no denying that he took in a lot of money. Taking in a lot of money is not a crime. What is it that the GOP is most focused on when it comes to tying him and his business deals to President Biden? Just, just clarify that one more time. I, I think, I, look, I had Jim Jordan on my podcast two days ago. I had a guy named Mike Davis on this. I've asked him the same question you're asking in, in a much longer form way because I want to get to the same thing. What they really want to get to is, is Joe Biden compromised? Did he take money in from, say, Ukraine uh, oligarchs or other people that will affect U.S. policy? They believe so. So, for example, when the prosecutor was fired in Ukraine and Hunter Biden days later gets put on a board uh, of a Ukraine energy company with no experience and is suddenly making millions of dollars, was there a quid pro quo? Are there financial records that show that, yes, Hunter Biden was making money, but he was also giving some of that to his dad? That would be illegal. For example, one of the things that I brought up with, with Jim Jordan on my podcast was I said, okay, there's, there's a one, there has to be one of two things. One is Joe Biden either took money uh, on the side from Hunter Biden for potentially bad things, or he failed to pay taxes on it because we now know through the bank records that they've achieved that they have received that he did get money they're calling it a loan repayment well it was in excess of seventeen thousand dollars which the irs then requires you to pay taxes on so either he did take the money and did bad things for it or he failed to pay taxes for uh, you know of that quote loan that was given to him by his son and his brother so the the, the house has some some answers to get and i think that's what they're really going for. I think what was, was interesting to me yesterday, Adrian, was it was a 221 vote in favor of this. Every single member who had express, expect, expressed uh, concern earlier this year now believes that they've seen enough to move forward with an inquiry. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.